All right, welcome back to 5-Minute Math with Mr. Newman. We're continuing on. This is a problem we've been using in our math class today. We're calling this the CN Tower problem. So it's a proportional reasoning problem-solving task where you are given the following information. The CN Tower is 553 meters tall and 66 meters wide at its base. Liberty wants to construct a model of the CN Tower that is 5.5 meters wide at the base. If she's building the model in a gymnasium, and the height of the gym is 40 meters. Will the tower fit inside? Will she have enough room to actually construct this, uh, this model? So she wants to construct the model. So really what we're dealing with is the ratio of the original compared to the model that she's constructing. So this is a scale model, and the width to uh, the width at the base compared to the height of the actual uh, C, uh, CN tower can be expressed in a ratio of 553 compared to some unknown height. I'm going to use the variable h to stand for height compared to the 55 meters. So we are tasked with finding out how tall the model will be, what's the height of the model, so that we can figure out will she have enough room. Remember there's a limit in this question. The limit for the height that we're representing with the variable h is 40 meters. So that's the height of the gym. So this task doesn't tell you to set up a, a proportion, but this is probably the easiest way to do it. In this question here, the multiplier is unclear. You can't really spot it using mental math. You might be able to see it, but it doesn't come out of your times tables, and there's a decimal value involved, making this a little bit difficult to see. So if we set up a proportion as a fraction, we can use the strategy where we cross multiply, then divide. Now we've used this strategy before. If we multiply across the uh, equal sign from top to bottom in any direction. The properties will hold true. And then what we'll do is we'll take that answer and we'll divide by the other value in the proportion that we haven't used yet. So we'll start off taking 553 multiplied by 5.5 and that gives us a value of 3,041 Point five, three thousand forty-one point five. I suggest you leave that in your calculator. Don't round it off yet. When we're doing problems like this, we usually leave rounding off to the very end. Then take that number and divide by 66. So that's the number that we didn't use in the original proportion. So we're going to multiply by two numbers across the equal sign, and then we're going to divide by the value we haven't used yet. When you do that, it doesn't work out exactly, but you'll get a rounded answer of 46.1 meters. Now if we slide back to the original problem, the original problem asks us, will the tower fit inside a gym that's 40 meters tall? So that is our limit. When you do problems like this, it's important that you remember to actually answer the question. So this scale model tells us that the actual uh, CN tower is 553 meters tall. The one that she's building with a base of 5.5 meters wide would have to be 46.1 meters. So in this case, the gym is not tall enough to house 
the, the model? So the answer is no. The model tower will not fit inside the gym. If you want to be um, show some justification, subtract the limit from the height of the, the tower model, and you can be even more descriptive in your answer, and you could say that the tower is 6.1 meters too tall. You put, you quantify that, and your math teacher is going to be even more impressed. Thanks for watching. This was Five Minute Math with Mr. Newman. I hope you learned it. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up, subscribe, so that I can retire early.